breaking crypto news, Goldman Sachs sees long-term opportunities in virtual assets, expresses willingness to invest in firms affected by FTX crisis. So the big money whales, BlackRock, Goldman Sachs are putting money to work. They're not afraid at all by the falling prices. In fact, they are enjoying the falling prices because they're scooping up these assets dirt cheap. So let's stay on top of what is going on in this space, the news, what are they seeing? Is this technology revolutionary? First up, the metaverse. Decentraland rental feature goes live. Landowners can now list land for rent. So this is just one use case of metaverse property. You can rent it out, earn some passive cash flow income. Now, it's really important to stay on top of the data and the user metrics of these metaverses, so let's look at Decentraland. The current number of daily active users in Decentraland is around 8 Thousand. The month of September saw 57,000 monthly active users. So you're seeing thousands of users in the depths of the crypto winter, obviously potential in the metaverse. Now let's see how Nike is using Web3 technology. Artifact drops first ever physical Nike Web3 sneaker with move to earn. So they're literally hooking up physical sneakers to the blockchain, walking detection, gesture control, wireless charging, auto lacing, haptic feedback, move to earn. And so this is all gonna run on the Polygon blockchain. Let's stay on top of the on-chain data of Polygon. These are active developers on Polygon in purple. You can just see the uptrend. We're hitting an all-time high in development, again, in the middle of the crypto winter. Now, this is not the only growing asset. Let's look at Cardano on-chain data. This is smart contracts deployed. So you can see at the beginning of the year, we had like a thousand smart contract deployed. Now it's gone up th over 300%, closing in on 4,000 scripts deployed. So development on Cardano as well. Now let's look at what's going on with Chainlink, blockchain infrastructure. Chainlink smart money might be pulling link tokens off exchanges to stake them. So we've been talking about how staking is rolling out. Now you're going to be incentivized to not just keep your Chainlink tokens on an exchange or to use them as currency, but to hoard them and take them out of circulating supply. We're gonna stay on top of that to see if it does move the price. And then you have the Quant Network. This comes from one of their new partners, UST Global. UST's new partnership with Quant Network will provide tokenization services to banks and capital markets participants. This is one of the biggest revolutionary, revolutionary use cases of blockchain technology. It's tokenization. So trillions of dollars in financial assets are gonna to be tokenized. Quant has a massive partnership with UST Global, one of the assets that's going to earn some market share by tokenizing the trillions of dollars of assets. 